Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to Wolf Quest, where we are here with our Wild Meadow, the last of our line of the Luna Pack, ready to go ahead and enter the Lamar Valley area in search for a mate. And yes, I know that is a huge shift from her story of exploring Lost River, but we are pivoting away from her seeking out the secrets of foxes and going to say that a very wise fox actually guided her to this land and told her this is where she can find the help to be able to rebuild her pack because friends it is almost time it is almost time for puppies the update to wolf quest 3 is actually going to be coming out in just a few days that will add sloth creek and will make it possible for us to actually have the wolves that we picked out as mates have puppies meadow come on this is much more exciting than just sniffing yourself come on let's do this but it is very exciting because this is the big update and the core of what really is going to make the experience of playing Wolf Quest 3 so unique every single time you come in because now there is going to be more puppies born in each litter of wolf, the wolf pack. In the previous Wolf Quest games, you always had four puppies to take care of and that was definitely already a handful and kept us very busy with literally hundreds of our Wolf Quest stories that we have in our playlist archives and it has really helped shape so many of the stories that so many of you guys have really come to love. And now it's so surreal to come generations later. I don't even know how many generations later we are. We'd have to do like a special count to figure out how many wolves have been born to lead from our very first wolves, Luna and Soul, who founded our Luna Wolf Pack, all the way over to here, where we are now with Meadow, our wild Meadow, putting her paws across the land and carrying on her pack legacy, even though she is the last surviving member. I am just blown away. We have come so far, you guys. I am so excited to see where we are going to go from here, especially because I'm really hoping that Meadow will be able to restore the pack and have many, many puppies, because not only are we going to be able to actually have puppies now, but you are not limited to just four pups. You might have anywhere from one to, I think, seven pups. I could be wrong about that, but basically the bottom line is it's going to be a little random depending on genetics and a little bit of randomness every time you have puppies in Wolf Quest 3 and their personalities, what coat colors they have, all of that is going to be determined by both genetics and also uh, the health of your wolves. So I'm really excited to see like what her babies are going to be like if we're going to be able to have enough members to really keep the pack's legacy going on generation after generation and to also see if Meadow has what it takes to be able to survive in the wild and carry on the Luna pack legacy. So you guys, we're gonna do this and before we can go ahead and have puppies because the update for the sloth creek is not out yet we actually need to help meadow with the very basics of being a wild wolf and in that case it is going to be making sure she has learned from the stray dogs from the cougars from the other wolf packs around lost river enough of the hunting skills that she can hunt and kill two elk herself and once we really have that solidified once we're really confident that she's able to be a good hunter and provide for her pack then we need to find her a really healthy mate with winter coming she's going to need to start looking for a mate and she's going to have to find another dispersal wolf and it's not just about finding another dispersal wolf it's making sure it is the right dispersal wolf because with those genetics at factor if we do not pick a healthy strong very very highly like rated mate for meadow we might end up with unhealthy puppies who can actually inherit a lot of bad diseases or just not be as strong so it's it's really there's a lot riding on this there's a lot on luna's shoulder excuse me there is a lot oh there's a moose oh my gosh there is a lot on Meadow's shoulders. The future of the Luna Wolf Pack as a whole is kind of a big deal. Also, I think a moose is kind of a big deal, a bull moose especially, that we do not want to mess with. So we're going to step foot into this wild forest with her together. We are not going to like pick a fight with that moose because that is definitely going to be beyond her, but he's really cool looking. Look at him. Yeah, no thanks. We're not here to pick a fight with you. We're not here to pick a fight with you! All right, lesson number one. Don't mess with a large, angry herbivore. Got it. 
But we're going to step into this forest now beside Meadow and we are going to try to make sure that she is fit and ready for a wild life. And it has actually been a very- oh, are those buffalo now? What the heck? It has been a very, very, very long time since I have actually been here with um, the wolves. So hopefully we will be able to guide her carefully. I can't believe it. Those are buffalo. I haven't even- like this is the first time she has ever seen a buffalo. This is intense! Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, I remember our first lesson. Don't mess with the big angry herbivores. Yeah, they smell us. We smell them. We're not gonna mess with them. We're, they're, they're totally their own thing. You guys do you. Alright, and are those deer or elk? What way is the wind blowing? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. Towards us. Alright. Are you guys ready? Because I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> They're like, oh, the moose was actually following us and now he's hanging out with the, the buff, like the bison. Okay, look, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be quite the challenge to be able to be able to like, keep her alive long enough. There is a mother bear and her cub running in the background too. This world is alive, it is wild, and it is going to take what it can. And we're going to have to be strong enough and smart enough and expert enough at hunting to be able to survive here long enough that we can pass on this legacy of the pack. I really, really, really hope, look at those bison footprints, that we're going to be able to do this. And I think those are definitely some elk. And I'm kind of nervous because it has been a very long time since we have attempted this. So let's go ahead and see. Are any particular one of these elk... A little weaker, a little slower, a little less observant than the others. Alright, what about... nope, nope, nope. What about this one? Let's give her a test nibble. Alright, she seems pretty strong, actually. Okay, we gotta watch out, because if they kick us, that could definitely cause some pain. Alright, what about you? Oh, it's an elk calf! Oh geez, that means we're gonna have a very furious mother on us any minute now. Let's move fast and keep our eyes out. There's Mama right behind us. Move! We don't want Mama to get us. All right, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're out of a bit of energy, but we're gonna circle around. We don't want Mom to be able to catch up with Baby because she's gonna kick the living daylights out of us until it is no longer possible for her to save her baby. So if we circle them, maybe they won't run and we can catch our breath for just a minute. And then we want to separate them again. All right, come on, Meadow. Wow, think about how intense this would be for her very first wild encounter here in Lamar Valley. All right, spook them. Get them moving again. Move, move, move. Don't let mom get you. Okay, move, move, move. All right, stay on track for that calf. All right, I think we've almost got that calf. So the calf is a little bit weaker. Oh, look at her staring down like a furious mother. But I think we can do this. we rush them again and actually if we can just fight past mom come on come on we've almost got this little guy down ah so tricky so tricky all right let's back up get some of our stamina back yeah okay so that little guy must be a little bit weaker than the norm. Let's see if we can get him to run. Here we go. One more bite. And we did it! Oh, we actually have our own food! Oh my gosh! Oh wow, we did it! Okay, good job, Meadow! She does have what it takes, you guys. I am so relieved about that. All right, let's have her go ahead. Now, no. Okay. And now we need to go ahead 
wow, there's already all the crows like around here. There's a chunk of meat. Look at them walk up here. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if I can get her to focus on eating this chunk of meat. There we go, eating the carcass. Look at how quickly all of the other, the other like crovids show up. They're ready, or the ravens show up. Then again, in real life, oh, there's the moose again. Wow, I feel like Meadow really got put in her place really quickly with this and kind of like told like, you don't need this much food or like you you can't take out a, a buffalo but you can definitely try to take out who like the weaker members of this forest and the, the carrion eaters are already picking away their their bit but we're so full now oh wow okay let's go ahead and maybe let her rest i think that her very first lesson here in lamar valley and there's the coyotes who are already showing up to kind of like eat at the at the meat Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I feel like she's just getting so many lessons. And she's trying to growl and like keep some of the some of the coyotes and the other the other birds away. Oh, look at this beautiful vulture. Or eagle, pardon me, eagle. Oh my gosh. Are you trying are you trying to mess with me, coyotes? You guys need to back off. Oh my gosh, they are gonna fight us! Holy cow! Jeez, I think that the eagle actually stole my ch my chunk of meat is half eaten because of that eagle. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a lot harder than I remember, and it's just going to represent how really we aren't so much in control of the area as much as we're in control of just what what opportunities might be right in front of us to be able to go ahead and use our strength to try to eat as much as we can all right let's see if i can i mean this is a whole half a carcass still left all right let's see if we can get another chunk and then at least take that away okay yeah what a lesson for Meadow! She is not in control of this wild zone. She is merely one of the many, many wild members of this forest. And she really has to find her place. We often think that that means like dominating the area or becoming one of the mini packs who actually do control this zone. And as you see here, there's the Junction uh, Butte, the Lamar Canyon, the Wapiti Pack, and they all control a very solid amount of territory. And wolves are extremely territorial. They usually stay very close within their own zones. So we need to be careful not to run into them, especially when we are still all by ourselves and we do not have a new pack member to come join us. And I wonder, did that complete one of the... Yes, we killed one of the elk! That means we are one step closer to finding a way to be part of this wild world and hopefully, even if we aren't going to be able to control it, just find what resources and opportunities we can make the most of as it is, as it is organic and ever-changing around us and adding to the story of Meadow and the story of the Luna Pack as a result. Let's go ahead and let her rest. And then we'll have to see... Oh, there she goes. She's getting all cozy. All right, it's been so long. I have to see how to make her sleep again. It's a very long time since we've done this. Oh, that's right. All right. There you go, Meadow. Very nice. And now we'll go ahead, let her get some rest, recover some of her stamina, some of her health. Oh, I heard another wolf pack howling in the distance. And then we will carry on with watching where her story goes as she takes part in this amazing wild world. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Meadow and the hope that we will be able to find a mate and be ready to go as soon as the update comes and brings pups along with it. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you for the story next time. Bye, guys.